you know, that has made me start thinking about how South Africans and Ghanaians and Kenyans, what they have been complaining of about my people. For me, when I hear people saying, oh, they come here to oppress us, they make money and flaunt it on our faces, I used to feel like maybe it's jealousy. But trust me, you, it is not. Now I understand it. It makes you feel discouraged. And this is where I totally agree with this version of the Bible that says evil communication corrupts good manners. I totally agree with this version of the Bible because when you see these people progressing with the wrong approach, it kind of make you ask question, God, you did so. I thought that you are supposed to bless those that I... Hi guys, I honestly thought that this was going to be the video that I will post before any other video after the Adeola video that I posted because I wanted to quickly lean my voice to something very important. I filmed a couple of videos and I don't know which one will drop first but all join. Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for coming back if you are a returning subscriber but if you're new here Lillian here and I welcome you to my channel and I do hope that you enjoy your stay and hit the subscription button. So it's been a long time I since I did a video of this sort so but today I feel like we should do it because it has been a long time i have not sat down to talk about issues regarding my life living in ghana as a foreigner one of my subscribers here i don't know if you will see this video last week i called him i wanted him to help out with some immigration issues and all that and then he came through by linking me up with one of the immigration bosses whom i am yet to call because at some point i felt like okay let me hold on maybe just a little more and see if there will be need to call her like two days later my landlord called me and said we are going to to, he would love me to make out time and come with him to the immigration office and I'm like okay what is that for and he explained that he is about to be taken to court for giving his house to Nigerians and I'm like okay and I told him I'm so sorry that you have to go through all of that for our sake and he was like yeah it's fine that he didn't know about this this is coming up now and I'm like okay if I could come with him and he was like if I could come with him to the police I mean to the immigration office to see them let them see me and that they are asking I come with my kids I'm like okay I can't come but my kids are not going to come with me because they are in school so he, he said he was going to get back to me so yesterday my caretaker came around and then was telling me to please if I could come with them today and I said ah. so I told him I'm going to be busy because um, my time is very precious to me that is my job is all about time and I don't think I have time to spare so if the immigration has any issues against me they should come to me because I have nothing to hide I have the papers that backs me up to live in Ghana at least for some number of days or months and I have that already so if they want to come over I will be glad to have them instead of me going to them so yeah we are on that so what I want to say in this video is that so many things have changed the renting rules in Ghana have changed to avoid getting into the mess that my landlord is in is definitely going to come out of it all right because the laws I mean to an extent the laws in Ghana works to an extent okay not completely great like that but at least to, to a reasonable extent and so it means he knows what to do to be out of that mess so but i just want to put this out there because the renting rules in ghana has changed from my window i could hear them arguing outside the day they came here that's the immigration officers they were angry with the house owner for renting his house to nigerians without proper check so if you own a property in ghana be you ghanaian nigerian if you're renting to any nigerian or any foreigner make sure that you get you you request for their documents okay this is what is happening now if they come to you and your tenants do not have the papers it's a problem all right it's gonna be a big problem and it's not just on the tenants alone it affects you also as the house owner so that's the new trend right now so let me talk about this here for me i am 
a bit um i'm kind of confident about this because i feel like i don't want to go the people that are supposed to go don't want to go so why should i go i mean if they want me i'm available if they want to come to me are they if i have done anything wrong if they come and i can't tender the papers that is needed i'm open for arrest right so if you're giving your apartment to any foreigner make sure that they have their papers before you rent and for those that do not have like regular jobs like you do not work with anybody you do not have a job maybe you do what i'm doing now you are a remote worker make sure that you have your ghana card for non-citizen i'm kind of very proud of a young nigerian guy that reached out to me some days ago and he said to me hi lily i saw your videos on youtube please i want to get my non-citizen card how do i go about it and i told him the ways to go about it and it's cool these are the kind of reach out i want to get from my fellow nigerians i might be harsh in my videos sound like i don't like nigerians or something i do not hate nigerians neither do i say nigerians are my favorite you're not but as a siblings do i have a choice no i don't i love you even if i don't like you i have no choice but to love you so if you are nigerian and you're coming to ghana or you're already in ghana i want to use this opportunity to tell you to please go for your non-citizen card all right if you own a business make sure that that business is registered if you're working if you want a job if you want to work go for your residence and work permits the work permits and the resident permits go for it it is given together you can't get one without one so both for the residents you can actually go for your non-citizen card that allows you live in ghana within 365 days you can live in ghana with your non-citizen card but you cannot work all right so if you want to work please go for your resident permits which comes with working permits all right so because right now the rules to renting has really changed and i cannot blame anybody a lot of things are happening because when i when i moved into this apartment what my landlord promised me was something different he told me i was going to be the only nigerian i mean me and one other guy that i really admire i'm proud of because it's that nigerian that is giving me hope for a better nigeria right legitimately working and doing things and i am proud of him so landlord said we were just going to be the only nigerians and uh, if should he get any nigerian into this apartment it's definitely going to be a nigerian of good repute a nigerian with a job or a business and a registered one so i was happy coming here but things didn't go that way a lot of things have happened people have lied just to rent and he was being sympathetic towards them you know the sigma we experienced from around everywhere my landlord just want to pity and give a chance but things are not turning out that way so for me i've told them i'm not going to the immigration office not because i'm disrespectful but because i want them to come to me if i have if they have issues with me come to me knock at my door if i can't provide the papers that is required of me to live in ghana as a foreigner then i am open for arrest then i'll tell you guys to help me get a lawyer <laughs> but for now if you are coming to ghana or you're already in ghana please make sure you get your non-citizen card because nobody is renting again to you as a nigerian fine as a foreigner if you do not have your non-citizen card or your work permits or your residence work and resident permit like i earlier said comes together so you need the combo for you to be able to work get a job in ghana like maybe in the bank or hospitals or name them some of the supermarkets so you need that that is that and i also want to use this opportunity to plead with my fellow content creator i beg you if you don't understand a topic right now before the elections avoid it do not do it everyone is anxious you know the election is coming in december just two months away or yeah two months away the election will be here so please i beg you my fellow nigerians both the ones in nigeria doing content about ghana both the ones in ghana doing content about ghana regardless of where you live if you're a nigerian and you're creating content about ghana i beg you in god's name there are topics that 
you should avoid for me i made that mistake in the past i didn't know some topics are politically associated right so i got myself into them and unknown to me so but the moment i realized i have you know taken it back from some of these things because for me it was all about showing off ghana showing off ghana you know so i didn't know the implication of some of the topics i was doing so please till the elections come and go let us be patient look for something else to create their food content that are trending to those you know there are a lot of other topics so please like protest that is happening i don't feel it is the right thing for you as a foreigner to be indulged in protests in your host country just my own opinion i do not know it all but i want to tell you the truth i admire a citizen that go out there every citizens that can go out there to protest for the good of their country i appreciate them i admire them in fact i love them but as a foreigner it just doesn't sound right to me that you should be part of any protest maybe online by supporting or by going out to join them to to protest um if it's if you don't understand the topic avoid it okay for me i stumbled on a video on youtube today if it was to be before i would have quickly reacted and make a video of it see ghana see what they have done in ghana see the, 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 the. so please if a topic looks to you like targeted at marketing a political party or a politician i beg you my beloved country people let's avoid it okay focus on other entertaining topics or other things that have nothing to do with politics of the country let's just do those until after the election we can go back to those projects and other things that we love okay also i want to use this opportunity to say that if you have issues with any nigerian youtuber remember that we all have our names and you can identify us by our names so when you want to call out someone do so by their names that way it helps to address the issues if it is me i am open for that for call out call me out if it is anybody call them out don't add like don't just get angry and say you nigerians are you nigerian youtubers we all have our names and we can be identified by these names okay call us by our names that's the only way you can get us to do the right thing but if you just go on and throw shades hey you people are these you people are if you don't like me it's cool for me i have seen people come to the channel here on my own channel to criticize my content oh look at what you are doing look at what you're saying and i see those same people commenting on similar videos elsewhere praising them praying for them to understand so it's a natural thing not um on the internet or natural thing in life for you not to love everybody you just maybe there's just something about that person you don't like i also have people like that that i don't like no matter what they do but it doesn't mean i hate them so the best thing i have always done is to avoid them on instagram i don't follow them rather than follow them and just attack them if you don't enjoy my content it is fine i understand just go away maybe one day i'll do the one that will make you change your mind right so and other things that i won't be happy doing lately is having anyone come to compare me with anybody because you see this life my name is lilian and my story is unique so if there's someone that is giving you joy on their channel don't forget to go there and enjoy yourself and avoid mine maybe for the time being if i'm not giving you the joy okay and this coming to tell me oh see this person is doing that they have this they have. i don't care because you don't know where people make their monies from online here is what we tell you that you get to know so for me i think i should just continue with this video because there are so many things happening around me that has really brought back you know that has made me start thinking about how south africans and ghanaians and other africanians what they have been complaining of about my people for me when i hear people saying oh they come here to oppress us they make money and flaunt it on our faces i used to feel like maybe it's jealousy but trust me you it is not now i understand it because something happened recently someone that i know that has no job that all of a sudden the person just hits money like huge amount of money right now and there they bought a car the person bought a car bought a house i'm like really just like that 
Wow. And then you look at some of us that are hustling legitimately. We are still there. And then this person live life, enjoys life. You know, you see them have those things that you're working towards having believing that one day God will provide them for you. It kind of make you feel like not jealous, really. It makes you feel discouraged. And this is where I totally agree with this version of the Bible that says evil communication corrupts good manners. I totally agree with this version of the Bible because when you see these people progressing with the wrong approach, it kind of make you ask question, God, you did so. I thought that you are supposed to bless those that are hustling legitimately. So what is happening? Why isn't that the case? I know that one day, not my prayer for them, but because there's something called karma, it can just set them back. But already they have created the impression that you can do anyhow and get away with it. Because you might not be there when karma catch up with them. When karma is catching up with them, you might not be there to see and know. But you will just be wondering, do God hate me? Is it good to do the right thing? Doing the right thing, is it worth it? Because those that are not doing the right thing are progressing. So at this point, I totally get what South Africans and some Ghanaians have been complaining. Because see, if you have young people like me now, I don't have a son, but I believe that if my niece was to be a boy, she would have started thinking about our environment. She'd be like, wow, look at these people that, had, that are always, you know, all of a sudden they have. So why can't I? And if I'm not there to monitor her and um, to monitor him and encourage him and discipline him, he or she, she might, he might just decide to join them. And this is where the accusation of foreigners are coming to destroy our children comes in. Now I get it. No one is jealous of anybody. It's just that. You'll be wondering, doing the right thing, is it even worth it? Is it worth it? Is it worth it? Yeah. But for me, I know it's worth it. Because I remember my daughter telling me she also wants a car. Because she has seen someone she knows all of a sudden bought a car. And my daughter said, Mommy, I want a car too. I told her I don't have money for a car. Okay, for now, I give you food. I pay your school fees. I pay our rent. So I can't afford a car. She keep talking about it. Mommy, I want a car. Buy a car. Just let's go buy a car. Because she's a baby. She knows nothing. But she could see that. She sees that and she wants it. So yeah, um, please, my dear Nigerians in Ghana. It's not every Nigerian that is a bad person. I will never accept it. If anybody comes on here and say, Oh, all Nigerians are the same. We are not the same. They're incredible Nigerians in Ghana and I enjoin you to please keep up the good work by hustling legitimately. There is no easy way to success, all right? So if you want to hustle already, I have been accused of being the one recruiting Nigerians to Ghana to come and to come to Ghana. I've shown them beautiful things in Ghana. So that means I said they should come and I begin to wonder, what about Nigerians in South Africa? What about the ones in Kenya? What about the ones in the Republic, the ones in America? Australia, name them Papua New Guinea. <laughs> Am I the one that recruited them to Papua New Guinea? Because if you go there, you see my people. Migration culture of the Nigerian people is not new. So please, those accusing Lily Ogini of being the brain behind it, I, I have nothing to do with it. In fact, no single Nigerian has moved to Ghana because of me that I know. Of maybe they are doing that without me knowing, but none I have not aid anyone to move to Ghana. The only time someone has come to Ghana, custody of my YouTube videos, was a Nigerian who came from America. And this is someone that is coming, a retired person that is coming with money to live and invest in the country. And it wasn't just my videos, videos of African Americans as as well. And also the other time that someone came was when a woman came to give birth at one of the hospitals here, a private hospital and you know what it means they'll pay and i have been advertising a lot of the sectors here like education because people come and it's good they acquire it and go back because it is good i shouldn't be blamed all the time oh you are the one you are the one i am dealing with issues being nigerian so let me face that okay um so like i said earlier at the beginning of this video please if you want to rent make sure that you go for your non-citizen card have your passport rights and please if possible show proof of what you do for a living so that 
we can live here in peace. For me, my not wanting to go to the immigration is a deliberate one because I told you guys I feel like the immigration are not doing their job well enough. If you see this video, don't be mad at me. Don't arrest me. Don't sue me. Don't target me. But I feel like if you want to do this job, you can do it. I know you guys. If you want, you can do it. So me coming to come there what about the others that are not going to come what if they don't want to come and my innocent landlord going to court is is, is not important it's not it's, it's not important is you dealing with the real thing the source because you can take my landlord to court today maybe you win him or he wins you what about another Ghanaian? Are you trying to discourage your people from building houses what about the ones that will build an a Ghanaian is not interested in renting it so focus on your want to go there and check you can do this job you know i don't want to discuss it here because if i talk everywhere go boss but i will not talk and i shouldn't be target i have kids that depends on me no one should attack me but you, you guys if you want to do your job you can do it and that is why i don't want to go to the immigration office on purpose also please i've talked about the election i beg try your best if you know they vote come on hand okay come on buddy the only nigerian that is free to involve in this ele election whatever whatever that is happening is a nigerian who is a citizen in ghana who has the right to vote you can join the campaign join a political party of your, of your choice uh, if there's any politician or political party you are supporting which i don't have any right now because i don't i barely understand anything i don't understand to understand if there is any that you like since you do not have the legal rights to vote pray for him or her okay wish him or her well that is just it but for now avoid any political related content on our channels if i do one all you have to do is to let me know oh lily this is it this is political then i will understand i'll check and i promise to delete that video and move on but for the ones i may have done in the past unknowingly to me that some people are finding it offensive because they feel i'm promoting a political party or a politician i apologize for those all right and i sincerely didn't do it on purpose i was just showing off ghana but now that i've learned i have have retraced my steps and i wish the best man for the job to win this election whoever wins is a win-win for us all right so these are the new rules for living in ghana and just follow the rules abide by them complain less okay complain less one day we'll go house one day what i one day i don't know when maybe when we don't die hmm? no we don't old one day in Nigeria go she be with they always to say go good maybe you go if you good if you not good but complain less because this is not your home if you can't take it you know the way home right that's how we have always rolled and I hope you enjoyed this video to do